Hello my friends, welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. So today, oh, it's moving down. I'm using a new um, camera stabilizer, which is what you're seeing here in this corner. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it there. What is it, is it this thing? Yeah, I think it's that thing. It's just when I use wide angle. So anyway, it's gonna be there. I might edit it out, but anyways, today is going to be a regular day in the life of a teacher vlog who is getting ready for back to school. Um, so I'm currently in my classroom. It is 11 o'clock. I have a meeting with my principal today at 1.30. It's just like a meet and greet kind of um, meeting. Just what's going on here? I'm trying to figure this thing out. Move. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> A hassle. Anyway, he is new to our school. He's actually not like totally new to the school because he taught at the school years ago. Um, and so he's not totally new to the school, but anyway, it's just a meet and greet because he's never really gotten to know the new staff that's here. So he's meeting with all of the new staff, all of the staff, um, just to kind of get to know people. And I really like that. Um, not very many principals that I've ever worked for have like really taken the time to just meet with someone and like get to know them as a human. And, and I think that's really good. It's really personal. Um, but anyways, I'm here today because I am doing a couple of different tasks. A, I want to have the room completely ready for meet the teacher night. Um, because, or at least everything moved off of tables, like all of this needs to be put away. I have to be done with decorating today um, because uh, on Monday, today's Friday by the way, on Monday is when we start meetings, district meetings, and I'm probably not gonna be in my classroom at all next week. And then starting the 31st, we will be here, but I'm assuming it'll all be like staff meetings and so I probably won't have a ton of time to work here in my classroom. So I wanna just make sure everything is like completely put away. I don't necessarily have to be ready for meet the teacher night, um, but I just want everything put away because I'm sure I'll have time before meet the teacher night to get everything ready. Um, I printed out my meet the teacher forms. And so I'll just flash it front and back. Um, and it's just all the information that families will need at Meet the Teacher Night. It's like my welcome letter, um, and I'll probably print my quarter one newsletter and staple it to this Meet the Teacher document. Um, so that's ready to go. I just have to make the copies um, and finish my quarter one newsletter. And in my newsletter, I like to include like what standards I'm covering, the topics the kids are gonna be learning about, um, the skills they're gonna be learning, um, and then just like ways that parents can help their child succeed with what we're doing. So anyway, um, so yeah. And then another thing that I'm working on, see you can kind of see my meet the teacher document there. It was printed in black and white though, so I'm not gonna get too excited for that. And then I'm working on my safe schools trainings um, I'm working on my safe schools trainings because we have to have those done by a certain time and I just feel like I might as well do it while I'm like sitting here um, working on like back to school stuff like I'm listening in the background and you know that kind of stuff so anyway that's what I'm working on I was gonna show you guys real quick I did complete a few projects over the last couple days that I didn't vlog. I don't think I vlogged for two days straight. Um, so I'm just gonna show you what I did. So I did all my Cricut work yesterday. Um, look at what we're learning, learning target space, space to write the standard. And then I hung my because, what else did I hang? I did the back bulletin board. I ended up finding my seatbelts everyone words. So I ended up just putting them back there. And then I stuck Miss Frizzle next to the bus. I do need to change this like I need to put something over the top of it that represents our school like maybe our mascot or something I could do um but anyway this is done um what else I hung these two things back here I need to put all the cricket stuff away oh I made schedule cards and printed our schedule so I have the regularly regular day schedule and then the Friday schedule that way 
on Fridays, I can just come over and change it. I'll probably have it memorized within a few weeks, but for now I'm just gonna keep it there. So I made these on Canva and then just printed them in color. I brought my colored printer in because it was just sitting in storage and I figured it would be better used here so that I can print stuff like this here rather than at home. Then I don't have to like run home and print stuff and then bring it back. I really only use my printer for school stuff to print colored things. So now I can just print them here. Anyway, these are all on magnets. Um, so that on Fridays I can change it around, but you guys can pause the video here and see my schedule. Um, yeah. And then, uh, what else did I do? I think, I don't know if I showed hanging those. I'm going to make this wall like, like a community wall and it's going to have like all things like community. So like, these are my favorite from the Miss R Project little posters that are from her daily hypes, um, which I really like using. And so these are like my favorite ones. Um, and so I'll refer to them quite often. What else did I do? I don't know. I hung my tech posters over there. I pulled out a couple of bins. Um, I organized all of those and like had pulled all my little things out. Um, I don't know if I told you guys that I have to pull these down before the fire marshal comes but I'm gonna wait to do that until after meet the teacher night because I just think that they make the room look so cute. Um, I might even wait until the fire marshal is supposed to come, <laughs> but I didn't say that, no. Um, and then I think that's it. And I know my because is a little bit crooked, but I wanted to space it out. Um, so don't judge me. I'm gonna try to just not focus on that. <laughs> Um, I think that's everything that I did. Yesterday was really just a cricket day and then I worked on my meet the teacher stuff. So, um, I also laminated my table cards. These are my table labels and then I'll be putting them in here. I don't know if Target sells these anymore. I like totally bought like five or six packs of these back in the day when they sold them. And so I haven't had to buy them for like years. <laughs> Um, so anyway, I'm going to cut these out and stuff them into here, and then I will just simply stick one at the end of each table. Antarctica is going to be back there this year. Actually, I might make my TV, like my carpet Antarctica, like, so they come here and chill. And then that is like Volcano Island or the Arctic Circle or something like that. So anyway, I'm going to get to work because I'm going to leave today after I'm done with um, my meeting with my principal. Yeah, I have questions for him. Um, that way I can get everything kind of like out of the way. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna make today a work day. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Today is July 24th and I am heading to my first district meetings. Um, today is the first official day, contract day, for new teachers to the district, so that includes me. Um, if you guys haven't been here for a while, um, I just recently moved cities, and so I am starting at a new district, and it's actually um, the district that I graduated from. Um, so today, all of my meetings are gonna be at my alma mater, at my high school. Um, so that's kind of exciting. I get to like go back in and see how it's changed which I'm pretty sure it's changed hardly at all. <laughs> like maybe some fresh paint, you know what I mean? So anyway, I'm excited for that. I'm not excited to sit in meetings all day, but the good news is, is that our meetings go from eight to one, and then from 1.30 to 3.30, we are at our sites. I don't know how many other people are new to my site. I think maybe one. So I'm not sure what my principal has planned for us. Um, but we'll see. So, and then there's a, I don't know if you guys know about, it's called the, I think it's, um, I don't remember which bar it is, but there's a bar down in the valley. I wanna say Four Peaks. Yeah, Four Peaks does a like school supply pickup for teachers. So I signed up to do that. There's no Four Peaks here, but there is a bar called the Founding Fathers 
and they're actually partnering with Four Peaks and they're gonna be able to do teacher supply pickup for um, teachers in this Quad City area. So yeah, that is on my um, schedule today. I've got all the things I packed my, I'm drinking a poppy this morning because my tummy is feeling a little eh, like just bloated and stuff. Um, but I've got my water, I've got my gallon. I packed one snack because they are catering Chick-fil-A. So I'm excited about that. I don't have to pack a lunch. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, the last bit of the day, I get to just kind of spend at school in my classroom and I can get some more like planning and prepping done. Because what I really want to be able to do by the end of this week is have the first two weeks of school completely planned, prepped, printed, everything done. I have all my meet the teacher stuff um, done. I just need to make copies of that. Um, and then I uh, just need to get those first couple days of school's worth of stuff printed. And then I'm ready to rock and roll. So anyway, today's vlog will be um, kind of jumping around a little bit. Well, I, I guess this is like day two of this vlog because um, I did start it the other day. But... Um, I will update y'all as soon as I can and um, yeah, wish me luck. All right, you guys, so district meetings are officially over for the day. Just got back to my classroom. It's about 1.15. Um, I'm going to be working in here until about three. Um, my two goals are to finish the two safe schools training um, lessons that I have, get those certificates printed, and then start working on my slides for the first two days and the first, so I guess the first seven days of school is what I would like to begin with. Um, only like my agenda slides and what I plan on doing, I probably won't like put together specific slides yet aside from like meet the teacher because I want to just make sure that I um like include things that are specific to the school so I could even just start working on slides now and then just add them so that's what I might do I guess my goal okay <laughs> I guess my goal is to have the first seven days of school planned prepped printed and ready to go before this Friday. So I'll be in here between one and three o'clock every day. So that gives me quite a few hours to get all of that done. Um, so I'm gonna just sit down and get started. Um, yeah, so great meetings. They were really, really nice. They didn't like drag anything on. Um, tomorrow, our agenda is about um, subs, sub plans, classroom instruction, self-evaluations, HR, benefits, um, ESS, or SPED. Um, and then that's it for tomorrow. Um, so it should be a nice, easy day again. Um, they're serving us lunch, which is really nice. And everything about working in this district so far has been wonderful. So I'm really excited. I'm really happy. Um, and I'm eager to get started with the school year. Um, here's how my room's looking. Nothing really has changed. I really want to figure out how to get rid of, I mean, if I take you guys out of full screen, you can't see it, but it's really annoying how it's there. But don't you love this stabilizer? Oh, knocked you out of whack. It's pretty cool. I just wish that this little thing wasn't in my view, but that's okay. We'll deal with it. Good morning, guys. So it is Friday, July 28th, and I am here at school. I don't have any meetings today at district level. Um, today they're talking about math curriculum, and I don't teach math, so I don't have to go to those. Um, but I have quite a few projects I need to get done today because on Monday begins the first day of school 
um, level meetings and there are lots of them. Um, I did get my hands on the curriculum that I'm gonna be um, having access to this year. So for science, it'll be the McGraw-Hill Inspire Science um, curriculum, if you've never heard of it, neither have I. <laughs> so it'll be new to me as well. Um, but from what I hear, I will be getting student books. Um, and the book is, I mean, it's nice. It's a, it's a textbook, um, but it has a lot of investigations and like STEM related activities and stuff. Um, and so I'll be using that in addition to mystery science because mystery science, I just, I love it. Um, so um, and then I'll also trickle in some Generation Genius in there as well. Um, and then for social studies, it's called TCI. I don't know what it stands for. Um, I clicked around on it yesterday on the online component. And from what I can tell, it's really just like an interactive textbook um, online. I don't know if I'll get physical textbooks from that, um, but I, uh, I really didn't mind it. I mean, I'm only going to be doing social studies for like four to three weeks a quarter. So um, I think that'll be a nice way to, um, to do it. Uh, it's really cool. It has like reading passages. So they read a small section and then they do like an interactive activity um, with whatever it is they read. So like if it's on latitude, longitude lines, there's an activity for that. Um, and then it gives me reports on how they did. So I can use that in conjunction with like the things I've used in the past and all the things I have. Um, but as far as like curriculum goes, it looks like it's pretty user friendly. So uh, I'll be diving more into that on Monday and Tuesday next week because that's when my meetings for that are. Um, a couple things that I did while you were away for that really quick second. Um, I hung these words. This one says uh, key vocab and then this one says wonder wall. So I plan on doing what I always do with vocab and just listing the words here. Um, and then under the wonder wall is where I will have students place like sticky notes for questions they have. Um, or if I do any interactive like board stuff, like if I'm like, okay, write a sticky and then go put it up on the wonder wall, this is where they will all go. Um, so I decided to kind of like split this board up into that. And then um, I did get quite a few copies made and stickers made. Um, I have binders that I need to unpack today. They all just look like this. These are gonna be their grade level binders and this is what we will be putting their pencil pouches in. And then we also have these black take home folders. So I need to put all the stickers on these. Um, and then I also printed the cover for their science binders, which I'm, kind of struggling with because I'm not sure if we're going to end up using binders. I did ask for them on the supply list and I have every intention of using them as long as every kid brings one in. Um, we also asked for a red, green, and blue. Sorry, there's a landscaper walking by. <laughs> um, folder with no prongs. So it has like the holes, hole punches in them. Um, and so what I'm thinking is as long as every kid has a binder, then I can do that. Um, and then depending on if the kids bring in the right colored folders, we'll see. So I'm gonna have to like wait and gauge it depending on what the, what the students bring. But at least for now, they all are going to have a grade level binder and this is grade level wide. My teammates also did this. Um, we all bought black binders and we all have black pencil pouches and we all have black take home folders. So at least for now, like until we get all of that sorted, they can put all of their stuff just in that black binder. And I like to pre-copy everything with holes. Um, that way they can stick it in their binder. Um, so then what I might have to do is expand on this storage idea. Um, because if they all are going to have binders, I might have to store binders in here. Which is fine, but it just means I'm going to use more of these and just have a little bit more room kind of taken. Another idea I had was to get rid of, not get rid of, but like move these bins, these these black and blue and purple bins, and I can store, um, and I can store notebooks and or binders in there. Like I could do a whole class of binders here, a whole class of binders here, and there, and you know, overflow. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, it really just depends. Like if every single kid brings a binder, then perfect, we'll use binders. Um, 
but you know, if they don't, um, we put two binders on their list though. So odds are most kids brought two binders and in the event that like enough of them brought two and a few didn't, maybe we can give one to the other. I don't know. We're, we're going to see how it goes. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to wait. I also put in some supplies into each uh, box for the first couple days of school. Just a couple crayons, some sticky notes and pencils. And I got really lucky because all my sticky notes actually match the color of the table. So not only can I do continents for like recognizing tables, but each table is a different color. Um, so I can like color cord coordinate certain stuff. So I like that. So yeah, I have a lot of things to do today. Um, a lot of it is just getting ready for the first days of school. Um, pretty, pretty much ready um, otherwise. So I made these to go on my, I have science goggles or yeah, goggles. Um, and I'm going to put, yes, I am ditching science on there. And that's their hall pass. I just thought that's funny. Um, I'm the first one here too. It's 730. And I think I'm going to go try to snag the coffee machine while no one else is here. Hey you guys, so it is like 1.40 in the afternoon and I've gotten a lot of stuff done. Most of it is planning um, and prepping things. I'll just kind of show you and then <laughs> um, tell you where I'm gonna go with this next. Okay, so I went ahead and printed out my first mystery science lesson materials. I'm actually going to be starting with one of their third grade um, lessons because it does support one of my fourth grade standards. Um, this standard um, is pretty close to the fourth grade standard. Um, and so what I'm going to be doing is using mystery science to springboard the unit and then following mystery science we will be using the inspire science um, unit to follow this which is all about fossils environmental data and stuff like that so and then i am going to be starting out the year with doing some um, activities from the science penguin i really love her stuff i don't use a ton of it um but she does have a back to school like it's called I Learn Science, and it has a ton of activities that kind of introduce students into the world of science. It goes into like what tools are used to measure, what tools are used to observe, and then it finishes out with a um, claim evidence reasoning activity with Skittles. So it's just really to get the kids in the mood um, or in the motions of science and getting to start with the jargon and stuff like that. And then for my bulletin board in the hallway, because I teach a writing block, um, each of us teaches our own homeroom writing, um, we're gonna be starting with a very easy goal writing activity just to kind of get like a beginning writing sample. So we'll be talking about um, goals that we want to accomplish within the school year. And the goals don't have to be limited to academics. They can be behavioral or social because I think that a student who is super, good with academics could have some social goals or like a student who really struggles with behavior they might not need to focus mostly on academics but more on how they treat other people so it's cute you actually fold this into yoda's jacket and then you glue his head on um and then i found some microscopes i don't think we'll use them um, but i did find them in the storage room so I don't know, we probably won't end up using them, but they're over here. This is kind of like my table of all the things that I need to either copy or have copied. And then what I've been doing for the last few hours is just going over the first mystery science unit that I'm going to be teaching. 
comparing it to my district's digs, which are the instructional guides. And then I'm going to then dig into my after Monday, because Monday I get training on the science curriculum. Um, I'll actually dig into that and start planning what I'll do with that. I'm imagining this first mystery science unit is probably going to take around two weeks. It's only three lessons with one anchor and a performance task, which involves writing, which is perfect because I'm going to be doing informational writing in science as well. It's probably going to take about two weeks. Um, and I think our quarter is eight weeks long. So um, that's kind of perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of working around. I did take a little cat nap on my chair. This is like the best chair for this classroom because it leans all the way back and it has a foot stool or a foot rest. Um, and I totally just took like a 20 minute cat nap. So that was lovely. Um, I don't have a ton of other things. Oh wait, I did do something else. I also added all of my students onto their tech login papers. Um, I would show you, or I guess I can show you what they look like without student information on them. So you just put their name and then their username and password. And then I also put in their student email. Um, I'll be printing these on sticker paper and then I'll be putting them inside of their Chromebook so that they always have their username and login on their Chromebook, their personal, like the one they use. Um, what else did I do? Uh, I was working on all of my lesson slides. So this is week one. This isn't officially final yet. Um, this is just the first two days. I haven't really like gotten deep into it because I also have this class procedures activity or I guess slideshow on Canva. And then week two, I have all of the slides loaded. These are the iScience from the Science Penguin slides on there as well as the Miss R Project affirmations and daily hypes slides, which is what I like to use. I'm hoping that my teammates will do these so that I can just do them with homeroom and that would really save me a lot of time with um, academic blocks. So I'm gonna chat with them about this just as like a quick like five minute ad to their morning meeting. Um, I just think it would be really beneficial. If they say no, it's fine. I'll just still use them for like a quick, like five minute before the lesson starts every day. Um, but yeah, so I have to make sure I have my win time fluency and then a writing. So I have a science block, um, an intervention block, and then a writing block that I'll be teaching every day and then or social studies too. So but yeah, I've been super busy um, just getting all that kind of stuff done. A lot of it is just like computer work, planning things that I would be doing normally during like my mornings or preps at school or after school before contract hours are done. So I feel really good. I'm up to like week three. I have almost all the way through week three slides done. So that's really nice. It makes me feel really good that I'll be ahead, which means that during my preps, probably during week one, like the first two days, I can really focus on like transportation and sorting supplies. And then week two is completely planned and prepped and printed. Um, I can spend that time focusing on planning for week four. And then that way I'll be almost two weeks planned ahead, which is great. And really the only thing that would happen is like maybe we don't finish a lesson on like say Monday we start one and we don't finish it. We can just push everything to the next day and then everything is still copied and ready to go. I just have to adjust my slides. So I feel really good. It is almost two o'clock. I am gonna leave here at 2.30 to pick up cash from summer camp. It ends at three and I just kinda wanna go home and like take a shower and relax a bit. Um, and then tonight we're going out to dinner for Scott's birthday. That's my husband. So it's gonna be kind of a fun like, you know, weekend. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Don't forget to follow me on my socials and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.